What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. Today I'm going to show you how to grind this game because thankfully EA have given us back a good grind. It's been about three weeks during Path to Glory and the first week and a bit of Make Your Mark cards that we have not had a very good grind thanks to the 83 by 10s disappearing and being replaced by like 86 by 2s. Thanks to the 81 plus player pick coming back as a one of four that required 11 cards instead of six. And overall, it was just quite terrible. However, we now have got the one of three 82 plus rare gold player picks back. We've got the 84 by 10s back. We've still got the team of the week player pick. And we've got some other cool things to grind. And I'm going to show you how to get the best out of it. And you're going to want to get the best out of it because A, if you do hit and make your mark player out of these, the, the cycle here, that's going to be great. But B, um, if you don't get anything from Make Your Mark, we have got the Greats of the Game promo week two coming on Friday, and it has got Zidane, Ronaldo, Henri, Ronaldinho, uh, Cruyff, among others. And so it is going to be a big promo. And of course, when icons are promo cards, they are available in these player picks. So it's simple, right? Build as many player picks as you can with everything that is 80 rated and lower in your club. Golds and commons and rares, 80 rated or lower. Put them into the 82 plus player pick. You're going to get some fodder. And I'm going to show you what I think you should do with the fodder at the end of it. We're starting with an 86, which is absolutely fantastic. We're also getting an 85 Walsh, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, for the most part, 86s, 87s, 88s and 89s will go into the exchange. 90s and above will go into whatever player SBC you're working on. And then 85s down to 81s will go into the Team of the Week player pick. You can, in the meantime, put your 84s, 83s and 82s into the 84 plus player pick. And you can also, <coughs> excuse me, wow. You can also put your 84s and 83s into the 84 by 10, which I would probably, probably suggest that you do first. But once you've built some player picks, rip them open, you're going to get your fodder. Hopefully you've got a lot of fodder. If you have already got fodder, which a lot of you won't have um, because of how stingy you have been recently. But if you have already got a lot of fodder, go and put it into the exchange. 86, 87s, 88s and 89s into the exchange. Go and open those packs and get your player players in the, uh, in the club. We've got an 85 Walsh. I'm going to show you like different parts of it first that you're not going to do first. But... I think is important to, to showcase it. The 83 plus player plus team of the week player pick is super valuable to do for two reasons. Number one, you get tradable packs back, which gives you a good way of getting, uh, it was Walsh, wasn't it? Which gives you a good way of getting coins into your account. You don't earn a monster amount of coins for sure. My game crashed. So, uh, you don't earn a monster amount of coins from it for sure. But it's about 4,000 uh, time, uh, assuming that you get nothing of value in the pack. But of course, if you get anything of value in the pack, then you're going to make more. But if you do like 10 of these throughout the cycle, you're going to end up making 40,000 coins. In this current market, 40,000 coins can buy you two absolutely banging players. So the way to do this, these SBCs, as I say, you want to keep your 81s, 82s, 83s, 84s, 85s for this. Because for the first segment, for the 83 rated squad, 185, 483s, 682s. Do your best to use as many commons as possible. Don't use your rares if you can help it because you might just need those for the player picks when it comes around. You're going to, wow, my game's going to crash in it. You get your mixed players pack. Um, we will we'll save uh, Walsh there. You can open it as you go or you can stock them. I prefer to stock them, but uh, you can open it as you go just to get yourself some stuff. We get a bronze there. You can be vigilant if you want and kind of check the prices of everything and see if it has any value. I tend to just discard everything. Um, I find. For the odd occasion where I might have quick sold a player that's worth like a thousand coins or something, I find I find the time that I saved to be far more valuable. And then for the 82 rated squad, you need two 84s and nine 81s. So once again, I would recommend to try and use as many of your common 81s as possible, just in case you ever want to use the rare 81s in the player pick, because you you will tend to run out of uh, rares before you run out of commons in these uh these player picks so use the the commons where possible but yeah it's very simple and then obviously the options that you've got with the team of the week player picks are kind of like pretty useful to be fair because number one you either get a really high rated card 
that you can either put into the exchange or put into an SBC, because of course some SBCs have requirements of team of the week or team of the season player. Or number two, you can put it in the 8 4 by 10 So depending on what we get here, we get an 88 rated card here. I'm probably going to go and put this in the 84 by 10 um, which is always handy. Like I say, you can build those team of the week player picks. You go and build your 84 by 10 uh, you, you're going to want to do these every single day. I think I've got more than enough, but we'll put Kvarich Kalia in there because he's the one that we got out. And for an 84-rated squad with an 88, I think I won't need much more than three 84s. I think the rest should be 82s, actually. Um, let's see. Let's see if my uh, SBC memory is quite correct. Um, but yeah, effectively, like the, the process is really simple. Pretty boring at times, but it's really simple. Once you've done your 84 by 10s and your 84 plus player picks, if you want to do them, it is quite simply just 81s to 85s into the team of the week player pick, 86s to 89s into the exchange, everything that's 80 and lower into um, the 82 plus player pick, and everything that's 90 and higher into whatever player SBC that it is right now that you're building. Now, what I would suggest is that you open your 84 by 10s one at a time just because then you can deal with duplicates into the exchange should you get them. Here's our small Prime Election Players pack as well from the uh, Team of the Week pick. You do get an 84 and an 83 in there, so it might be worth might be worth selling them. Uh, I don't know what 84s are going for right now, but there you go. I've probably made about 5k off of just doing the Team of the Week player pick with these untradeable packs anyway. And then our 84 by 10 is here. We don't get a special, but we're okay with that. As long as we get some high-rated cards, so we get 86... Wow, I did, I did not get 80 high-rated cards. So we need to get rid of Ginter and Kola Mwani. Uh, they will go back into the 84-plus player pick, actually. Um, this one here, because this requires two 85s and an 83-rated squad. So what I'm going to do is put those two 84s. You could just put them into the Team of the Week because they're dupes, obviously. What is with this game right now? You could put them into Team of the Week's... Because they're dupes. Yeah, servers are a bit muddied. Right, Ginter and Kyle Moani. So, guys, I'm actually not going to put them into that um, 84 plus pick because that requires two 85s and then the rest 82s. What I am going to do is put it into the 84 by 10 upgrade. Uh, of course, if you're short on informs, which you might be, go and do the informed player picks until you get them. What you'll find, what you'll generally find, now you might have a string of real bad luck, right? And if you do have a string of real bad luck, it sucks. But what you'll generally find is you will overall continually boost your club whilst doing this you will overall end up with way more fodder than what you started with if you are like if you end up building like 20 or 30 player picks and you don't get anything of any value it will be real sad and then what you'll have to do is go and grind the game out to get like objective players or whatever packs from the new objective and things like that to, to kind of get your fodder back up again or just wait until tomorrow for the 84 by 10s again. Um, but I would be very, very surprised. The system that we had last time out, which was 83 by 10s, the same player picks, the same uh, daily content and the same uh, team of the week pick gave me infinite amount of fodder. I would be shocked if people ended up running out of fodder now. Um, unfortunately for me, these... Oh, my days... Right, Thiago Silva, uh, Luis Alberto, and Ruben Neves. Um, I'm, I'm almost like happy to show the fact that this isn't doing so great in this scenario because this is still going to yield us uh, some good stuff in the end. We're still going to be able to do our 84 by 10 again here with the fodder that we've got. And uh, the other thing that you could do, which I tend not to because I feel like it's a waste, but you could put your excess 85s into the tradable team of the week upgrade um, because. That will... Ruben Neves, Thiago Silva, I can't remember who else it was. Um, yeah, you could put it into the tradable team of the week. Obviously, if you're really, really low on coins, it'll be smart to do because you'll get like 30, 40k for that. Uh, but I tend to find that I would rather put that... Eight, like put the, the 985s into the exchange and build player picks. I just find it personally more valuable that way. But it just depends if you're like desperate for some coins. If you're going for like a certain player off the market or something then doing the coins could be um, could be quite handy. Uh, right, let's see if we've got an 84 rate squad. There we have. So our third and final 84 by 10, the whole purpose of the 84 by 10s was to get that fodder to put back into the exchange, to build more player picks, to 
to carry on the cycle. All we got so far was 84s, 85s, and 186. So it's actually been pretty savage for us so far. Can we get something good out of this 84x10? It's not a special card. It is going to be Ruben Dish. I'll be very surprised if it's not a double walkout. Okay, it's not a double walkout, but... Damn, I'm very surprised. But what we do get to do now is use this fodder here. Again, the 84s into the Team of the Week pick or into the upgrade pack. The 85s into the exchange or into the Team of the Week pick. But the 89 that we've got goes into the... Uh, the exchange. I'm going to throw away the duplicates that I've got. I wouldn't recommend it for you. We're at that point of the game where you're just going to want to keep hold of everything that you can. We'll put Foden in the exchange, actually. I won't throw him away. Because we also picked up Gundawan and Kim Little, or Little Kim, from uh, the, the packs that we did previously. So two more there. Um, and then we'll open these packs. Maybe you get some good luck out of these. Generally, you don't. You generally use these as just your player pick slash team of the week pick fodder. Um, but we'll open these and then I'll go and build some more player picks based on what I got out of these. And we're, at the end of the video, we'll almost become like the start of the cycle again because it's where you begin again with all your low rated crap that you put back into the player picks, start the whole process again. So Foden goes in there as a duplicate. In theory, we use those duplicate 84s um elsewhere also in theory you don't get geez like 26 84s out of uh, three 84 by 10s you you know hopefully you guys will be picking up loads of 87s 88s and 89s because that's how the the cycle continues best case scenario here we get 85s or 86s out of this worst case scenario we just get uh the low rated golds that we'll put back into the team of the week sorry into the player picks now, those player picks might end up being... Imagine that was an 89. Um, those player picks might end up being only about seven or eight of them, but you only need to get, you know, one or two big players again to carry on the grind. And like I say, if you do end up... Oh, we've actually got a, an 86 out of that. That's grand. Um, if you do end up getting um, stuck with no fodder or anything like that, maybe you have some coins. Go and buy an 89. There's, there's so many good cards... Like cheap cards, sorry, 89, 9, like 87, 88, 87, 80, 87, 88, 89 rated that you can get good out of it. Now, we've got an 86 Araujo, an 85 Sheridan there, and some dupes. Once again, don't throw the dupes away like I'm doing. Go and use them in a in a SBC somewhere. 84s into the Team of the Week pick, the low rate cards into the, um, the player pick. What I'm going to do now, though, because we've just got ourselves an 85 Sheridan and two 86s, we put those back in here, and off the back of that, we get even more players, which is just going to help us again to uh, get some more upgrades. Now, you might be thinking, wait, I just told you, don't use 85s in the exchange. If you're really, really low on cards in general, find to use the 85s in the exchange. I tend to find that I have more 85s than I need when it comes to doing the Team of the Week player picks. So I'm, I'm not opposed to putting the odd 85 in here or there. I just generally don't make a point of it. And and I do believe that once you get going with this, you won't need to put 85s into the exchange. We're at a point right now where we kind of need the cards because my club has been bare, like your clubs as well, right? I presume that unless you're spending money on... Um, unless you're spending, like, your coins or whatever or money on store packs, I presume that you have nothing in your club. Or, or, you know, you've maybe got things that you don't really want to put into the exchange and stuff. So at that point, it's absolutely okay. Look at that. This is what I mean. It's just nonstop, right? It's just nonstop. So the way you do... So we've had a comment from the stream that says, how are you doing player SBCs, though? So just to reiterate again, 86, 87, 88, 89 rated cards go into the exchange, right? Well, <laughs> Ruben um, um 85s down to 81s go into the Team of the Week player pick. All 85s into the exchange if you want to. And 80s and below go into the 82 plus upgrade. The way that you complete SBCs is because your 90 and aboves are the ones that go into the SBCs. Um, so you, you'll be able to do your 90 and aboves. You know, if you've got like an 87 rated squad to complete and you put a new pack like, uh, you know, two or three 91, 92 rated make your mark cards, you're going to then be able to put those three cards into. Um, that SBC alongside some 83s and 82s, and all of a sudden you've completed the SBC, right? So that's how easy it is. And and just in general, like 
you're seeing even just from these exchange packs, like we're, we're just getting good cards. All of a sudden now, I've thrown some cards away so it won't be perfectly efficient. But all of a sudden now, we're going to be able to put, we're going to be able to make probably about like 10 to 12, maybe, maybe 14 um, player picks, which is just absolutely phenomenal, right? It's absolutely phenomenal. So let me go and build those player picks and I will be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. I managed to get 14 player picks from that little stint there. We started with 10. We did a team of the week pick. We did the 84 by 10s. I've got 14 more. So now again, the process is real simple. What we're really desperate for here is sort of like 87s and above. If we can get 87s and above, we're laughing because they just go straight back into the exchange and it, and it carries on. If we end up with the unfortunate 81, sorry, well, 82s to 85s, they just go into a team of the week player pick. And then again, you can put that team of the week player pick either into the 84 by 10 or back into the exchange or into an SBC that requires a team of the week or a team of the season. Yeah, don't do me dirty right now whilst we're trying to show how the grind works. Give me an 89 or give me a special. Let people see that the system works because it does work. And you will have you will have periods where you get really unlucky like this and you just get trash and you're like kind of back to square one and have to start again. But you will also have periods where you are just picking up 88s, 89s and 90s all over the shop. And it makes this it once you get to that point where you've got like so many golds, it just becomes real easy. Now we have been absolutely done dirty with these player picks so far. I kind of need an 89 to save this a little bit. But in spite of my bad luck here, I promise you this is about the worst it can be. If you follow this same formula, we finally got an 87. If you follow this same formula. You will have success in growing your club, packing some sick cards and having infinite fodder for SBCs. It might just take a day or two to get your club like ready. You might need to wait till rivals rewards as well. But that is how the grind works right now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If it did help you, let me know down below. If you packed a sick card from it, show me on X or Instagram or whatever it may be. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.